If you've been in the Minecraft community or have been playing Minecraft for the past six months or so, you'll probably have heard of the concept of speedrunning Minecraft, or beating the game as fast as possible. The way this is done is by killing the Ender Dragon, the final boss in the game, and jumping in the portal. I want to share how this is done and the fastest ways to do it. But before I continue, I want to mention that there are many categories of speedrunning. You can either speedrun in pre-1.9, 1.9 to 1.15, or 1.16 and above. There is also the difference between set seed and random seed categories. Set seed allows you to know where certain structures are, such as the nether fortress or the stronghold. Knowing the location of these structures can help a lot. Random seed means that you open up a brand new world with no knowledge of your surroundings, so you have to get luckier and hope that the structures are in the place that you want them to be. The final category is glitches. Basically, you can use glitches to speed up your time, sometimes by duplicating items or spawning the portal in before the dragon is defeated. I will mostly be focusing on the random seed glitchless 1.16 category as I know more about it than other categories. The first thing to think about is your surroundings. If you open up a world and start in a forest of any kind, just leave the world. This also applies to mesas, small islands, ice spikes, swamps, extreme hills, and other biomes. These biomes are not ideal for travel and do not have villages. Villages are almost necessary to get a good time as they come with an iron golem, which can provide 3 to 5 iron, a potential blacksmith, and if the village is in a plains, desert, or savanna biome, the village will come with hay bales, which is a good source of food for the rest of the run. The second thing to think about is trading with villagers. If you found a village with hay bales, you can turn the hay into wheat, but instead of using all of it on bread, you can use it to trade with villagers for emeralds. If you're playing on 1.14, you can use these emeralds to trade for enderpearls with the cleric, but this strategy is sadly outdated as of 1.15 and above, because in 1.14, villager trades never ran out, so you can get all the enderpearls without having to wait for them to restock. But in 1.15 and above, you can trade with fletchers to get a bow and arrows for the ender dragon fight. And before you leave the village, remember to grab the bed so you can use them in the ender dragon fight. The third thing to think about is the nether. To get to the nether, you're going to have to create a nether portal. And the way that's done normally is by mining obsidian with a diamond pickaxe, but you're probably not going to have enough time to get one of those. So the way they're made is by finding a lava pool and using buckets. The fastest way to build a portal using this method is by looking for four more lava blocks next to each other, then you place a block on the third lava block and place water. You then destroy the other block and let the water flow. Then on the far right block in the back, place three blocks up and one forward. Then on the farthest left and the block next to that one, place two blocks. Then you can place the water down and start building the portal. Once the frame is done, place the water at the bottom and break the bottom two blocks. Then let the water flow and place lava. The portal is now done. In 1.16, the nether changed a lot, thus why it is put in a different category than 1.14. You have to get luckier with the fortresses, as fortresses are more common in some biomes than others. So if you spawn on a basalt delta, your chances of finding one are much lower. When you find the nether fortress, locate the closest blaze spawner. When killing blazes, make sure to use an axe, as axes can two-shot blazes, making the blaze killing faster. You're going to want to have at least 7 blaze rods, as this provides 14 blaze powder, or about 14 eyes of ender, depending on how many ender pearls you get from piglin trading. You want more than needed just in case an eye breaks along the way to finding the stronghold. The new fastest way to get ender pearls while speedrunning is piglin trading. Piglins mostly spawn in the crimson forest, so if there's one nearby, you can collect gold from the nether gold ore that's nearby to trade with them to eventually get ender pearls. Keep in mind that in 1.16.2, piglin trades are getting nerfed, so you might want to stay in 1.16.1 for the 1.16 category. Once you're back in the overworld, you're going to want to head towards the stronghold. If you happen to find an ocean, this is good because you can make a boat, and boats are much faster than running on land or swimming with nothing. If you get lucky enough to see the stronghold above water, you can check the rooms much faster and more easily locate the portal room. Once you've found the portal room and you're in the end, focus on shooting the towers down. If you run out of arrows, you can build up and break one of the crystals manually. When you do this, you want to be careful not to kill yourself, so, so when towering up, don't tower all the way up, as when you break the crystal, you'll most likely die. What you want to do is stand one block below the tower and break the crystal. If you can't reach the crystal, go all the way up and place a block in front of you, and like a bed, when you break it slash use it, it will blow up and do no damage to you. Finally, get down using water and kill the dragon. Use the beds from the village and blow them up, doing a lot of damage to the dragon. If you run out of beds, use your sword to hit the dragon on the head, as that does more damage than hitting it on the chest or neck. If the dragon flies off and you still have arrows, you can shoot at the dragon doing a little extra damage. Once the dragon's dead, and you have gone through the portal, you've successfully completed the game. And that's how you speedrun Minecraft. There are other tips and tricks that you can use to speed up your time, but those are mostly used for getting world record time. But if you just want to get a personal best, then this is how to do it. 
If you thought this video was helpful in any way, consider subscribing. It's free and it helps the channel out a lot. Thanks for watching.